Hello, boys and girls of P1. Once again, I'm Miss Betty Kanye, a teacher of Literacy 1A, Social Studies, the one like most. Now, I'm back again. Are you ready to study with me this lesson? Who is ready by show of hands? Hey, I've seen some people are excited and very ready. So can you get settled and we discuss a new lesson? This time, it is a very new lesson and easy. So what you do, please, stay calm and we discuss. Be good. Be good. I know you are very good children and you like studying. Eh? So be good. Don't disturb anybody. Don't touch anything. Don't disorganize things in the room. Yes? Are you ready to study with me? Today it is a different lesson. And we have to learn the spelling first. we are going to, dis uh, to, to discuss about a community, Commun community, C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y, can you say community, and spell it, C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y, community, so when we talk about a community, what is it, what is a community? Can you think about the meaning of a community? Okay, thank you so much. So a community is a group of people. A group of people living or working together. You find very many people living or working together. So they make a community. That is a community. So in case I meet and I say, what is a community? Simple. Just say, a group of people living or working together and that spelling is there okay read let's read it together a community is a group of people living or working together take note of that spelling living or working together so when i'm talking about living a group of people living or working together the key words are here a group of people living or working together. Those are the key words. I'm talking about our community. Now, we have examples where we find many people living or working together. Sometimes we call them important places. Important places, you can call them important places or communities. When there are many, we shall remove Y and we put I, E, S. So we are going to discuss examples of communities, those important places where you find the people living or working together. We are going to, to, to study together. When you go to this place, market, market, you, you can't find one person. You find more than one person. They are working there and they are living together. So we have, let's spell market, M-A-R-K-E-T. Apart from a market, which other place do you think people can go and work and live? Yes, hospital. Yes, thank you. Someone has said hospital. Do you know how to say hospital? Spell hospital. H-O-S-P-I-T-A-L. Thank you so much. What about this one? School. Do you know how to spell school? Do you still remember how to spell that school? Spell school. S C H O O L school. Then we have bank. Bank. Some of your parents work in these places. So those are called communities. Bank. Spell bank. B A N K. Bank. Then we have church. Can you spell church? C H U R C H. Church. Then we have the mosque. Now spell mosque. M O S Q U E. Then we have the police station. And we, can you spell the police station? We have two words here. We have police and station. P O L I C E S T A T I O N. Police station. Then we have also the radio station. Some of your parents go and work there in those places. 
radio station, then we have the TV stations, we have the hotels, we have the post office. Those important places are called the communities. People go and work and stay there. Uh, so we have the market. Watch over, watch and see. Have you seen the activities which are taking place there? Some people are selling, this one is selling, this one has come to buy. So we have the market vendors. They are, these people are called the market vendors. Others sell and others buy. So you, when you find people buying and others are selling, that is a market. That's why in Ecclesia we say, don't shout as if you're in the market. And the word market is there, you can learn that selling. So we have the hospital. Where do you go when you're sick? Which place? You go to the hospital. And why do you go there? You go there to get treatment. If you go there, you go there to get treatment. So when you're sick, don't hide. Tell your mommy or daddy or your big brother or your big sister that I'm sick so that they can take it to this place called the hospital. And there's a cross there, that sign. When you meet it, it means it is a hospital. And you'll find there the ambulance. Yes? So when you go there, you're going for that treatment when you're sick. We have the bank. Yes. Have you seen that place? Bank? Yes, people are there, the bankers are there. And you can guess what, you, what we find in the bank. What is that? Yes. Our bank is there where people go and keep their money safely. I can even ask you what's the use of our bank. That's where people keep their money safely. If you want to keep your money, don't keep it in your pocket or in the bag. You might use it. Take it to the bank so that it is safe, it is kept there. When you want, you can go and withdraw, then you can use it for future use. But when you keep it in the pocket, you'll keep on taking. Some of you have the peg banks in your houses there. You keep on opening, opening them using knives, you can to buy pancakes. But for us, we take ours to the bank so that it is kept safely. We withdraw when we want to use it for in future. Then we have the church. Do you, if you're Christian, you have to go to the church. You know when you go to the church, the days you go to the church, and why you go there? Sundays, please. Go to the church and pray. They have started, they opened up. They said people should start praying. So if you're a Christian, please, remember to go to the church on Sunday and pray with your friends. Yes, but they said young ones should not go. It's only my parents, eh? So for you, you can stay still at home. Then the church is an important place where you go to pray. We have the mosque for our friends Muslims. When do they go there? When do Muslims go to the mosque? Do you, do, do you know that exact day? They're supposed to go. Which day? Who can guess that? Day? Yes. Someone has said Friday. Yes. They're supposed to go on Friday to the mosque and pray. They also go there to pray. So our mosque is there. Have you seen how beautiful it is? You also have a mosque around. That's good. It's an important place in the community. So we have there is one which you're missing so much, school. Hey, you are missing school. That's why we said, no, we should look for the ways of e-learning and we can, so that we can keep you and we teach you so that you, cannot, you may not forget the information. That's why we are here. I'm here to teach you. Though you are not at school, but I'm still teaching you. You are learning from your home and it's very good. Mm -hmm. So school is an important place. And why do you go to school? Do you remember why you go to school? Yeah, someone has said we go to study. Another has said thank you. Yes, we go there to study or learn. Thank you so much. Now we have police station. Mm. The police station is here. Policemen are there. Ah, it is here. Have you seen the police station? Yes, when they get wrong people, they take them with them. They arrest them. They take them to the police station so that they can be kept from this. So don't do wrong things. They will take you there. So we have the police station. It's an important place. It's a community. If they, you find wrongdoers, they are kept there. We have
have radio station for communication. You, in case you want to pass over the inf information to other people, you can go to the, to the radio station and you pass on the information to other people. So the radio station is there, you can see where people can what? Pass on the information to people who are not around there. Now we have another place here, TV stations. Have you seen it there? You can watch what is happening. Ah, people are presenting, presenters are there. For you just to watch, but they, they, they present from that, that station. Then the, the information comes to us. So they are there presenting. You can enjoy looking at them. It's an important place. Oh, hotels. Hotels. Most of you have ever gone to the hotels. If you've never gone, we have one here. You can guess what is happening. Oh, good, lots of good things are here in the hotels. You eat, you drink, you rest, there is music. Lots of things are here in the hotels. So it's an important place. Post office, if you want to send letters to your friends who are very far, who are not near you, you can write the letters and you send, you go to the post office, you can take your pen statue there. Then you post the letter and it goes to the person you want to go, you want to, to, to receive the letter. So that place is called a post office where you can send your letters from. Post office. Okay. Now that's all about community and the examples of communities. Please, when you're moving around, try to check and look at those communities and you see what is taking place and which people are working there. Thank you for listening and stay safe, keep sanitizing. I remain Miss Betty Kani.